Pak. Hello, good evening. How are you today, Tan? I'm good. Mm -hmm. What did you do today? Today, I go to school and I play with my friends. You? So what time is the end of your class? Um... Um, eight o'clock. Um, in the evening? No, no, no. In the afternoon? <laughs> Four o'clock in the afternoon. All right, for a while, Tan. <laughs> Okay, so um, do you still remember our lesson? Yes. So what did we tackle uh, last meeting? Um. Did you do? You still remember? We tackled about mm -hmm. Okay, it's all right. I'll just share my screen so that you can remember. Can you now see my screen? Yes. Okay. So the last time we tackled about, we're done with a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. And now we are in many and much. So now we will um, make more examples how to use many and much. Okay. So for example. Mm. For many, with countables, how many friends have you got? So, he, I mean, she is, or he is asking, how many? So, it is countable, okay? So, she will count how many friends do she have. How about you, Than? How many friends do you have? Have you got? I mean. Um, yeah. Two. Two friends. All right. So that is how you use many. Okay? Like, for example. Okay, for example, for a while. <laughs> this one. Can you please read? She called me many times. Yes, that's it. How about this one? That one. Take as many as you want. So that's it. So for the first one, she called me many times. Times here is the countable. Okay? So uh, it's okay if uh, we will say she called me 
Oh yeah, that's many. Many, so it is countable. Right? So for take as many as you want, for example, I am giving you a chocolate. Uh, let's just say like chocolate balls. And I will say that fan, take as many as you want. So you will decide how many chocolate balls will you get. Okay? Yes. yes. So for much, it is not uncountable. And it is also used for negations. Okay? Like for yes. example, there isn't much cheese in the fridge. There isn't much cheese in the fridge. So for example, Okay, can you please read? There isn't much chicken left in the fridge. All right, I'm so sorry, but it is there. There isn't much chicken left in the fridge, that's it, okay? There isn't much chicken left in the fridge. So chicken is a whole and it is not countable right so there's isn't here what does it mean by isn't or the correct yes. form for isn't mean is not is not Yes. Okay, now can you make your own example for yes. let's uh let's go first with many. Three three examples for many. Okay. Don't forget to use with countable noun, okay? Countable okay. nouns. All right. Now you may start for three, okay? Three examples for many. Let's practice more so that you can get um, how to use this many and much, okay? Okay.
Okay, are you almost done, Pan? It's okay. Just take your time. Just read your sentence again and um, see it if it is many or if it is much, okay? Okay. I finished. Okay. I have many sugar in the fridge. Can you count the sugar? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You can use much for that. I have much sugar in the fridge. Yes, you can use that one. Because sugar is uncountable now, right? Today, I drink many water. You interchange again. Water can be counted. <laughs> it is uncountable. So, you could say, today, I drink, or today, you must drink, uh, let's just say, Today, I need much water. 
I needed much water. Okay. I have many times to do homework. Also for this one, you could use much. I have much time to do my homework. Okay? Okay. So for many time, like for example, hmm. I have many apples. Oh, very good. I have much sugar in the fridge. Today, I need much water. I have much time. It is time. There is no S for that. Yes, I have much time to do homework. Very good. For many time, um, you could you uh, you could use it, this example. I have many apples in my hand. So, for example, I have four. Let's just imagine I have four apples in my hand. So, can you count the apples in my hand? Is it yes. countable or uncountable? Countable. Very good. Countable. So you can use many. I have many apples in my hand. That's it. Okay. Because um, could you could you hold ten apples in one hand? No. No. So I have many apples in my hand. It could be three or only four. Okay. Now, I will give you more example for that. I have many pencil in my pocket. So could you put 100 pencils in your pocket? No. No. <laughs> right. So you could yeah, uh, it could be like five or ten or let's just say five to eight pencils. So I have many pencils in my pocket. That's pencils. I have many pencils in my pocket. Okay? So just think that that in your sentence, when you use many, you should think that the noun or the thing is still countable okay yes so for like uh, for example water bread um sugar coffee um what else what are other uncountable nouns that thing you will use much okay okay now can you try again to make exam uh, two examples for many, okay? Yes. Okay, you may start. Just try, just try. I mean one for many and one for much, okay? Okay, now you may start.
Okay, Stan. Uh, you already made one example. Can you can you send it? It's okay. You can send it because we don't have enough time left. Very good. I have many trees in my house. Mm -hmm. Very good. My dad have many computers. Very good. That's it. Correct. Okay. You got it now. So tomorrow, we will still continue to practice uh, more examples about much. Okay. So you've already got uh, uh, how to use many. So the next one, we will start to practice much. And after, we will practice number three. Many and much are used after. Use after so. There are so many children in the room that there is no place to sit. Or there's so much time left for me to do this thing. Okay, so on Monday, right? We will meet again on Monday. And we will practice again to make examples for much. And we will use the so. Many and much used after so. Okay? The number three. All right. So you're on mute, Tan. But it's all right. Okay. So thank you so much, Tan. And uh, have a good night. Thank you for participating. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good day, too.